Where are you going to sleep tonight? Where are you going to shower? How do you wash your clothes? Where to find a good cheap cup of coffee? And what to do on a rainy day? If you have ready answers for all these questions, you're probably not living like a nomad. Either you live in a van, a boat or backpacking around, there are some things that every wanderer has to deal with. Subscribe and join our life at sea. Good morning crew. We wake up super early this morning. It's 5 a.m. now. It is still a little bit dark. The sun is coming out soon. We are in Cape Hillsborough. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Hillsborough. Hillsborough. Something like that. And we came to the beach because early in the morning in the sunset they are supposed to have many kangaroos and that's what we are trying to see <laughs> yeah, they did. Came to my phone. They are so cute. So cute. Wow, that was really nice. The sunrise was pretty. And oh, wow, you can call me silly, but I've never seen a kangaroo before. And so I'm super happy. <laughs> I'm glad we came. There was a lot of people at the beach. I think they do it every morning. It was really nice to see some kangaroos, yeah. the sunset. We nearly, well, we didn't miss it, but uh, when we arrived, they were already here. So yeah, yeah. luckily we, we came very early. The sun rose uh, really early today, it's nearly five. Yeah, so there is a ranger from the park here. It's a national park and he feeds the kangaroos in the morning at this time so that's why they get all together here at the beach and he makes sure nobody touch the kangaroos and everybody just appreciate these animals yeah. and he gives a lecture about them also and uh yeah it's perfect because you can take some really nice pictures you can check them on our instagram yes here <laughs> and yeah so cool this was a great one let's have some brekkie before I hit the road then all right, I'm hungry. Me too. This night was the first one we slept in the, out in the open. So we got here, it was just like over 11 and we saw some other uh, cars just uh, on the side of the road. So we pulled pull over and we slept here. And this morning we were surprised, not only with the kangaroos, but with this beautiful, beautiful uh, park. Okay, back to bed. Do you want to rest a little longer? Yeah. Maybe.
We are on our way to Nusa, which is 1,000 kilometers south of Early Beach, so it's a long stretch. And we saw the kangaroos this morning. Woke up really early, we didn't sleep quite well. And we stopped here, just in this, uh, in this camping area, which they allow you to come here for free for rest. And that's what we did. We pulled here around 11 in the morning, and I slept a couple of hours, Georgia cooked some lunch. And I was feeling really sleepy and it's terrible, you know, it's not safe, it's dangerous. So uh, all over the road there's these rest areas and uh, this one particularly nice. Nice breeze just by the ocean. And now I feel ready to go. We hope to, to do another 260 kilometers today and tomorrow 400 more. And then finally we'll be in Nusa, which I'm looking for a forward big time. Quick stop to fill the van. The middle of the road usually more expensive. Yeah, this is more expensive. Yesterday I put the same uh, 40 liters and it uh, was uh, 43 dollars. And now? This is a 48.50. So mm. Five bucks more. A coffee. Yeah, press for coffee. But yeah, this is in the middle of nowhere. Right? Yeah. It's a long road, there's no towns around. So. Feel it all around me in front and in back. I, it's not exaggerated. I just had to say it. Look how we graduated. I'm so glad you made it. Cause we got all that we wanted. Couldn't hate if they wanted to. We live it without a limit. Yeah, we do what we want to do. The challenges and struggles also contribute to make a gypsy life more rewarding. And also keep you alert, aware, open to change of plans and more resourceful perhaps. Good morning, today we are in a very glamorous camping spot, let me show you guys, check out this view guys, amazing isn't it, <laughs> ah, that's what we got for today. This night we spent here at the parking lot of McDonald's because the camping we were supposed to go was full we arrived there late at night and there was no vacancy and diego was really tired to drive so we just stopped here it's a 24 hours drive through mcdonald's and yeah we kind of slept here and now it's early five something in the morning and we're just gonna find a nicer spot to have breakfast close to the beach but some days it is what it is it's just not so pretty camping but that's fine what are the plans for today uh, today we're gonna explore Nusa beaches. This is a national park and there's like uh, three or four beaches. We're just uh, walking one by one. I 
our idea was to come uh, spend the day, go to the beach, maybe Diego would go surfing, but the weather is not very he helpful. Yesterday it rained the whole day and today it's cloudy. Taking this time to walk around and see the beaches and it's really pretty. I like it. But, uh, yeah, if the weather gets better, we for sure will come back. And no surf. Uh, yeah, no waves. There she is, producing another video, and today we came to this camp in here, so we could uh, reorganize ourselves, do some laundry, and charge our stuff. Georgia needed some nice place to work also in the week video, so we come here. Sunshine Coast, there's not so many free spots to park, so we came to this camping site here, which is just by the beach. It's really nice, really full. It's amazing how many, how much Australians like to camp. It's a big, big thing here. Every camping site it's packed with people and everybody is on caravan, trailer, um, RV, whatever. And well, yeah, it's incredible. This camping here, not so cheap, but it's a, a very nice spot. The beach is just there, literally 20 meters away. This is Colum camping site. Did you tell them where we are? The how much we pay for the camping? No, I told them where we are, but not uh, how much we pay because that will be subject for another video. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna split all the costs and share with you everything we spend on this trip. But just uh, yeah, along the way, we can tell a few things, maybe. No? Okay, go for it. Okay, it was around fifty Australian dollars for this spot with power and. Um, water well most of the places have water and there is like showers laundry and a lot of stuff nice structure here really nice yeah so it's good just yesterday we slept in the mcdonald's then we didn't have a, such a good night's sleep it was okay but it's not as good so this night is gonna be nice just do a lot of things we have to catch up do some editing yeah and we might get to the beach i don't know if we have time for that today maybe yes maybe not I don't know. Well, carry on, carry on. <laughs> Laundry day. Oops. They think I'll see you, <laughs> And laundry day. La da di da da da. See the chores, they never stop. We need clean, clean clothes or kind of clean clothes. Yeah, and today Diego did the laundry. Thanks, babe. My That's pleasure. That's the best husband ever. My pleasure. He's editing, I'm bored. No surf, but I'll have a look at the beach. Oh, yeah, it's great service, everything's really organized, it's really clean, toilets are clean, and plenty of structure. It was not the other case, we are just traveling, spending one or two days in each place. But people come to these places and they stay a whole season, one week, two weeks, and it's nice, you know, people bring their, their homes here. Look at this. We're just playing van life. These guys take it seriously. At every new place you arrive, the search for the basic starts. Food, water, shelter, amenities, comfort social interaction and so on. Sooner or later, you'll be ripped off, harassed, stressed or disappointed. But this is another trick to live traveling. Lower your expectations. Allow yourself to be surprised, be flexible, embrace the difference and let it go. Traveling full time is not about having a good time all the time. That would be impossible. It's about learning. Learn empathy, learn strength, learn the joy of simplicity. Once you make through all the hurdles, you may then find the pot of gold behind the rainbow, which you are all looking for. 
Digital nomads, as they call. We are here at the Mooloolaba Beach. Beautiful day, the sun is shining. But where is Georgia? Still finishing this week's episodes. Say hi, Je. Hello. Georgia? And this is the beach. And this is Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> 